it's me again. Um, I just want to quickly give you guys a garden tour uh, because we've had some pretty strong rains over the past uh, maybe like few days and um, the last time I gave you guys my garden tour my plants were still babies. I just want to show them to you now. Um, right here I still have some of these trays left of a uh, couple of seedlings but they are doing really really well. I have my crookneck squash that I still need to plant but I probably need to plant it soon because it is getting really really big. It's next to a big massive eggplant. And these are my natapenos. My natapenos are doing really really well here in the garden so I'm ready to transplant these. These are jalapenos. They taste like jalapenos but they don't have the the uh, spiciness of a jalapeno so it's gonna be really good it's nice for with kids um, here are my Kajari melons and uh, these are ready to transplant it got a little bit injured over here so I let it grow but it seems to be doing fine and there's other ones here and a baby Kajari melon so I'm super excited to get these transplanted so that they can grow really really nice and fast and also my little seedlings here my tomato pear um, here and then this one here is my doctor which is that I'm going to transplant because these are uh, heirloom tomatoes so I want to definitely um, transplant them they were my backups just in case the other ones didn't survive and finally my strawberries are starting to get really really big here over here I have my garden um, my lettuce kind of looking sad right now because it is hot but this morning it looks so luscious it looks so great but you can see the size it grew it grew so big as well as my uh, my my kale, my uh, dinosaur kale, so big. And uh, my bitter melons here on the trellis here, uh, they're starting to get really tall. This one here is actually like probably my height already. It's probably surpassed my height if I were to straighten it up because right now it's kind of like slumped over. Here are my cucumbers. Uh, they're starting to reach out to the trellis, so pretty soon they're pr probably going to be producing. Over here is my okra. Look at my okra, guys. Sorry, this machine's really loud. One second. There you go. Sorry, guys. Uh, they're doing some construction, so the machine was on. But here, look at my okras, guys. They're starting to get really, really big. The heavy rain did a lot to them, so I'm super excited. And these are my white um, bitter melons here. Now, look at this, guys. Look how big my upo squash got. Look at the leaves, they're so healthy and they're massive. And they're starting to reach out so I definitely need to build that trellis so it has something to cling on to. Over here, I believe that is my, um, my butterneck squash. Or, yes, I forget what it's called, butter squash. And here I have my acorn squash. It's also doing really, really well. The leaves are getting really, really big. And here my cantaloupes aren't doing so bad either. They're on the small side, but um, the leaves are they're looking very healthy. And here are my backup okras, and they're also doing really, really well. They're on the smaller side because they don't get that much sun over here, but they're still getting some sun. So you can kind of tell. This one gets more sun first. That's why it's a little bit bigger than its brothers and sisters over here. Here I actually purchased this pepper plant here. Um, it was like the last of its kind because a lot of people have bought already, but it looked really, really mature. So, and it has a lot of flowers in it. So I'm super excited about this one. Contemplating whether I should, I'm definitely gonna transfer it to a bigger space, but I'm wondering if I should transfer it to the beds or its own little pot. Okay. And then I didn't show you guys um, these flower arrangements that I made. Honestly, make your own flower arrangements, guys. They're a lot cheaper. And here I have my lavender. It's going to smell so nice in here soon when it starts producing its flowers. The squirrels, though, have been digging around. But I put some mulch in, so it's still maintaining its moisture in there. And it doesn't seem like it hurt any of the plants in it. Look how big my tomatoes have gotten, or tomato plants have gotten, guys. This one's already uh, producing flowers, so I'm super excited. This, I believe, is the uh, cherry tomato right here. And look how big this Dr. Witch's tomato got, guys. It's so big now. And look, it has like some healthy stock system going on here. And my kale. My kale have gotten so big. If you see that they're so big everything is so healthy 
super happy about it. Yeah, and these here, my jalapeno starting to produce a little jalapeno on it. And my cayenne pepper here already has a few peppers. So I'm so stoked about that. Yay, everything is doing so well. Let me show you the jalapeno. There's my mini jalapeno. Oh, sounds back. There you go, guys. You can see the jalapeno. It's getting pretty big over here. My habanero, it's starting to produce some flowers, but the flowers aren't out yet. So it looks like the cayenne starting first. And over here, I just noticed that my Thai chili. No, actually, this is cayenne. Yeah, the cayennes are producing first. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to start harvesting some of my kale because they're getting pretty big. Yeah, and the more you harvest, the more it produces, guys. So I'm so happy that the garden bed is starting to look a lot fuller. So I'm so happy about that. Let me show you guys the squash bed. I had a squash and uh, eggplant bed. I do have one zucchini over there in the corner there. You can't really see the chicken wire, but I have um, the one zucchini there. And I have all of my eggplants are starting to grow really, really big. Like, look at this one. This one here, like, grew, like, maybe, maybe triple in size over the past couple of days because of all the rain we've been getting. And as well as the zucchini, the yellow zucchinis have, like, gone so massive i'm starting to see little yellow zucchinis off of this plant right over here i don't know if you could see it but there's a yellow zucchini in there you'll definitely see it over in the next few days when um i start getting some more fruit so i'm probably going to be doing a recipe with uh zucchini flowers because i'm probably going to get a lot of zucchini flowers but i'm super super happy about this bed i think i spaced it out perfect that it leaves a lot of room for them to grow over here on this side of the garden i have my cucumbers here which are starting to want uh starting to trellis as well i have to put up the trellis um but i was taking a peek uh yesterday and look there's a little cucumber. I don't know if I said zucchinis, but I meant cucumber. There's cucumbers right there. The little one. And then here, this is my upo squash here. The upo squash here. Well, you don't get a lot of sun on this area here. You do get it, but not as much as on the other side. So the upo squash here is not as big as the one over there on the, uh, the big patch. And then I have my bitter melon gourds here. It's now flowering and starting to climb, but um, it's doing well. It's just that it's it's looking for something to climb. So right now I have this makeshift here because they were doing construction on the other upper part of our house. So I couldn't put the trellis up high. because They're using this big machine, but it, they're doing really, really well. They seem to love it here. Over here, my Malabar spinach has doubled in size and my fava beans as well. And they're looking pretty healthy. And look, my beans are like ready to climb a trellis. So I definitely need to get this makeshift net out of the way. I mean, it's done really well in terms of keeping the squirrels away. So I think I'm just gonna keep it up, but I need to add a bigger trellis for them to climb. And then do you remember my pak choy that I decided to uproot and replace it with zucchini? Um, I just left it here to flower because I think the flowers are really, really pretty. I just planted it on this box here. Um, so I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm glad I, I kept it. They seem pretty happy. Let me take you to our balcony and I'll show you our balcony tour. Oh, by the way, check out my herbs. My herbs are loving the sun. This is my herb box that I made um, in my recent video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But this is my herb box, guys. Look, so full. There used to be a lot of space in here that you could see the soil, but look, it's nice and full. The mint's happy, cilantro's happy, the purple basil like doubled in size. I only had like two small plants there. There's the Thai basil. This is massive basil, um, basil plant over here. And I have the mini ones here as well. Um, and this is the parsley. 
and you can see the time. The time is like so tiny over here, but hopefully it's still getting some sunlight. And then my rosemary. Rosemary takes forever to grow, but at least it's growing bigger. It's like doubled in size. Okay, so let's take, let's take you guys upstairs to the balcony. Actually guys, I don't think I've ever shown you my front yard, um, so I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, over here, I built a couple of small raised beds on the side here that I've, uh, I've stained like a darkish red color. But here in our front yard, we have some chocolate mint. This is a Kalaloo plant that I decided to try to grow this year just to see how um, uh, if it'll do well in this section over here. It gets a, some sunlight, but in the morning it doesn't get too much sunlight, so it's not so hard on the plant itself. Here I have some scarlet runner beans and some long beans that I've planted in pots. Um, they seem to be happy in this section here. I am gonna add a trellis here so that they have something to climb on. This is my um, thornless blackberry plant right over here. You can see something is eating at it, but not too bad and it has some new growth in there so it seems to like it here next to it I have my raspberry plant here that's growing and producing some raspberries as you can see it has some little growth in there already and this one here what is a raspberry plant it came this way um, it's supposed to grow some shoots out so hopefully it will in the month if not then it was probably dead but I have a couple of okra here in the front just to see if they'll, they'll grow here. Um, I had a lot of okra plants that sprouted this year, so I have okra all over the place. I even have okra in the balcony. This is my blueberry bush. It has some blueberries right over here. Hopefully it forms. It had some flowers, but it was also very, very windy. And you can see my little squirrel friends like to dig here as well. They love it. And here I have some, oh gosh, so many holes. Here I have some backup tomato plants. These, I believe, are the uh, beefsteak tomatoes. So I'm gonna have to stake them up because when they get bigger uh, and start producing, they're gonna need the help that they can get. And I also have some backup um, eggplants here. And these little bugs like to get at the eggplant flowers. Look at that. I had to pick some out yesterday, but there's probably more or a few that I've missed. So I gotta check these plants out. Um, so over here, I have my bra another brandy wine tomato. So these are Romas and a brandy wine tomato over here. And I've just kind of surrounded it with some flowers to attract bees. Here, I'm put basically my front bed here in the front is basically all the plants that I needed space for that I couldn't fit in my backyard or my balcony. So these are just um, you know, if they don't survive here, they don't like it. I'm not too, I'm not too, uh, um, I'm not too, I wouldn't be too upset if they died. Um, but I have a, another um, sweet cherry tomato here. And I'm gonna have to start pruning these because there's a lot of suckers that are growing on here and you wanna prune off the leaves that are growing in the bottom. It just prevents uh, the plant from getting any diseases. And here are my backup pepper plants over here. I think these are banana peppers and a few sweet peppers, so, and uh, bell peppers. So I just let them grow here in the front, but they seem to be happy. I have another planter over here. Guys, the flowers here smell so nice. But check out this planter here that I also made. It's doing really, really well. And I planted some basil on the side here because you know what, basil grows pretty fast and it covers up some of the space that I had here. But it's looking like it loves it here. So, and the smell, it smells so nice. But look at this flower, it's so pretty in the purple. Love it, love it. Lots of new growth on this one. Now we can go to the balcony. Okay guys, we finally made it to the balcony and honestly, the sun usually gets to this side of the house more in the afternoon and it's around maybe 10.30 in the morning so it's still pretty chilly here. Um, well, chilly enough to, to be wearing a tank top. I'd probably be wearing a sweater right now. But I wanna give you an update on how the plants on our balcony are doing because I do have a pretty, uh, I have my strawberries here and everything else. So let me give you a quick tour right now. 
Okay, so here I have my bitter melon. It was my last bitter melon, and honestly, it was doing so well that I didn't want to give it away to anybody, so I kept it. I just put it in another pot, and it's doing really well. Um, because it was in like a little seedling planter for so long, it did grow like it did grow like these these tendrils, but they had nothing to cling on to. So it's gonna cling on soon, I'm sure it will. But it's doing really well. It's starting to flower pretty soon. I'm hoping that it will produce some fruit for us. Um, we have more bitter, bitter bitter melon over here that's starting to climb this trellis that I made, and the trellis kind of goes straight up across and all the way down and then there's two more bitter melons here that are growing they look really really happy and i'm hoping that they produce fruit soon because they are producing a lot of flowers and then in between the trellis here i have my pepper plants and these nice dahlias that were gifted to me by my friend effie my friend effie gifted this to me and it's so so pretty honestly and it attracts so many bees so i love it and here my pepper plants are starting to produce lots of flowers so hopefully we'll be seeing some peppers here soon okay so on this little uh, bed here i have my purple beauty bell peppers it's doing really really well so um the stem's nice and strong and i had this backup little jalapeno i didn't know what to do with it and it was so small so i was like you know what i'm gonna leave you over here if you grow um then I'll leave you. If not, then it's it, it's okay because I have a lot of um, jalapeno plants here. This again is another Dr. Witch's uh, tomato that I'm growing over here. I have like this little trellis here supporting it because I started it indoors. It's still a little lanky, and I'm probably gonna have to stake it up. But it's gotten a lot bigger and a lot stronger, and I'm really really happy with the progress that it's had. Here um, is a hybrid tomato that I purchased. And this one is a pineapple tomato. So I'm very, very interested in um, seeing how this tastes like, if it tastes like pineapple at all. Over here is my zucchinis, and I have a few zucchinis here. I have this one here growing like a weird shape. I don't know, it's still growing, but it's growing in a weird shape. And then I have the little one here, this little nub zucchini that's not really growing in size. Um, but it's still good. I might harvest it so to give more room for these uh, zucchinis over here to grow. But I've recently pollinated that one over there and hopefully it gets nice and big. It looks like it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger than the other two. And behind it I have some, I think that's a, I'm pretty sure this is a bell pepper plant. And the leaves are doing really, really healthy. I always check my zucchini leaves for powdery mildew to make sure that um, it doesn't have any and here I have some shepherd peppers the leaves are kind of looking a little sickly I'm gonna have to see what um, what it is but the new growth seems fine so I'm still happy about that these here are um, habaneros and the plants are really really long and tall I think they've doubled in size with all this rain I'm kind of surprised that they haven't toppled over so I'm kind of happy about that and right here on the bed in front of it i have more peppers more jalapenos these are the giant kind of jalapenos and i've surrounded them all the way around and this is my one and only serrano pepper plant <laughs> so hopefully it produces some because i planted this last year and it didn't do too hot in the middle here i have another heirloom tomato um oh and it's already starting to produce flowers i'm really excited about that this one here is a brandy wine tomato. So I'm excited, it's producing some flowers already. Yay! Hopefully we'll get some brandy wine. Over here is my strawberry plant and it's like so big now. It has tons of strawberries and I believe I do have one red one. I saw it the other day, but it looks like it's get, it got eaten. Or not eaten, but it got bad, so I'm just gonna pick it off. Just throw it off. Maybe it'll produce another strawberry over there. Over here, something else was eating my eggplant. And I wonder what that is, but this is all eggplant, guys. Growing, because I had extra plants, so I planted it here on the balcony. Um, and in the middle, I have two okra. 
one's doing really well. This one kind of lost its uh, main leaf during the rain, but it's still uh, it's still like jumping back, so it's still producing. Um, over here, oh my gosh, because the sun isn't fully out here yet, you can see how my lettuce look like in the morning. Look how big and luscious my lettuce leaves are. They're huge. I should um, harvest them and have some uh, salad for, for lunch. And over here are my Napa cabbages. You saw a video of me harvesting these and look, they're already growing again. They're growing really, really big again. So I'm super excited. So I use the cut and come again method so that I can always have um, Napa cabbage all year round and the plant is still growing nice and healthy. I also made this planter box right over here to attract the bees and it seems to be working because all my plants here are doing really, really well. This is a zucchini plant and I want to say like last week guys or a week and a half ago guys, this thing only had two leaves and look how many leaves it has now. It has like seven and it's doing really, really well. It's filling out the pot nice and well. Pretty soon it's going to be like that zucchini plant over there. Here on this bed here, I have a whole bunch of okra. Again, extra okra. I'm gonna have like okra for the next two years. Some of them lost their leaves because of the storm, but they're still surviving, right? I have like a few, like, so you know what? Like, I'm kind of, I'm not too sad. I said if like these ones don't survive, it's okay. Cause I have like a ton of okra downstairs and in the front, but they seem to be still hanging in there in the conditions that they've been getting. So, um, and they're still continuing to grow new leaves. Here I have my cucumber that, I think this is a slicing cucumber that's hopefully gonna start to climb up on this trellis. And all the way across, I have more cucumber growing there. So hopefully they'll meet in the middle. I have some kale growing over here, extra kale that I had. And I didn't want to throw out so they're doing really well here they're still on the smaller side but they're still doing really well and then I put some uh, lavender here to attract some of the bees to pollinate my cucumbers in the center of this trellis here I had bought this from Sheridan nurseries and this is like a whole lot of spicy peppers it has habanero here apache pepper jalapeno pepper and orange pepper but look the jalapenos are starting to grow really nicely here and starting to fill in. Wow, they're growing really healthy and nice and big. So from back here, I have my tomato plants. And these are my mature tomato plants here and they're doing really, really well. You can see all the flowers from all this tomato right here is fully loaded with flowers. I'm super, super excited about that. Hopefully it starts producing lots of tomatoes. I, th I don't even remember what the name of this one is. I'm assuming it might be the beefsteak tomato. This over here also has um, some a lot of flowers growing in, and this one is the San Marzano San Marzano pepper um, tomatoes. And beside it here, I have the small fruited tomato. I mean, the leaves are kind of sad on this one, and I cut off a lot of the leaves because they were like sickly. But it has a lot of new leaves growing in, so I'm happy about that, and I'm gonna leave them in. Um, and it has a few tomatoes on it already, so I'm excited about that. Here, I have the early girl tomato. I always have at least one of these around and it's doing really well too. It's flowering. All these tomatoes up here, I love it because they're in the shade, but they get some sunlight. So I'm happy that um, they're growing nice and tall. Pretty soon these are gonna get taller than me for sure. And that one over here in the corner, I don't even know what it's called, but it's really healthy. Let me see it. This one is, oh, this is an heirloom tomato. Old German tomato. So that one's gonna grow really, really nicely. You can just tell all the leaves are healthy. I check these on a daily, guys, for any diseases, pests. Um, right now is the time to get a lot of the tomato hornworms. I haven't seen one yet, knock on wood. But uh, all the tomatoes are doing really, really well. You can tell these ones are larger than the ones downstairs or in the front. Because these were the ones that I bought. Um, um, and I bought um, when they were like already like a foot tall. Here you go. So that is the, uh, that is my garden update for the week. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this um, garden tour. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, please don't do anything. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and hopefully maybe in the next garden update, we can harvest some vegetables together. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.